Bone grafting plays a role in every dental implant we put in this office, just about. So if there's an extraction that's gonna be involved, you're getting a bone graft. We can do an immediate implant, or sometimes implants can be staged. And so if we have to stage the implant, meaning it goes in several months after the tooth comes out, you're gonna be left with a really large hole when the tooth comes out. We wanna help your body heal that hole more quickly than it would if we were not to bone graft. So by placing a bone graft in the hole, it acts as a scaffolding for your own bone to grow through the bone graft and replace that graft with natural native bone. If we're lucky enough to get the implant in the same day the tooth comes out, we'll take the tooth out and we have a hole. The implant is not as wide as that hole is, and so if we get the implant in, the implant gets good and tight, there's gonna be a gap around the implant between the socket wall and the implant. So again, we will graft that socket to allow your bone to more quickly and readily grow into it and attach to the implant. Those are the two scenarios in this office where you would require bone grafting for an implant. It is exceedingly rare, but patients do come into this office and they are the perfect setup for an implant. They've had the tooth taken out several years ago. The bone looks pristine. It's wide enough, it's tall enough, but those are few and far between. So the overwhelming majority of patients that receive an implant will be receiving a bone graft.